Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, September 4th, 2012. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts. We will start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. First thing you're going to notice here is that the <clears throat> futures are trading lower by about one point this morning to 1403.75. Again, it's been a little bit of a rocky start. Futures were much higher in the overnight session. You can see here around 2 o'clock in the morning. However, they have since come back down. Um, we'll see how low they go or how high they go. It really all depends on the action in the U.S. dollar index. If you take a look at the dollars today, um, the dollar was at a low point right around 2 o'clock in the morning. That's when the S&P was at a high. Now the dollar is at a high today. Uh, only trading higher by about 8 pennies on the session. But nonetheless, the dollar is higher, and that means the market comes down. We'll see how the dollar reacts once the opening bell rings at the New York Stock Exchange at 9.30 in the morning. That's still over an hour away from here. And uh, we'll see how the market reacts. If the dollar starts to fade, traders can expect the markets, the overall markets like the S&P 500, uh, to start to catch a bid. If the dollar um, rallies, I would expect the markets to pull back. Now, last night, um, there was some pretty good and Im important news, I should say, out there. Um, the first thing you want to look at, for the most part, before we even get into Europe, was Asia. You did have the Hang Seng trade down about six-tenths of 1%, and then you had the, Sa the Shanghai Index, which I still think is one of the most important uh, indexes anyone can follow, uh, trading lower by about three-quarters of 1%. So another new low for the Shanghai last night. Um, that is problematic going forward, especially since the Europeans are looking for Chinese uh, money to bail them out. Uh, we'll see how that all plays out. Now, in Europe this morning, the markets are basically flat. However, yesterday, they did have a solid day. So today, they're trading slightly negative, but you do have Italy and Spain uh, both trading higher. And Italy is up, I believe, by a half a percent. Spain is up 1.3% this morning. So they're holding steady. <clears throat> now, real quickly, um, it's Mario Draghi, I, I guess, um, has said that he'll he'll go out and buy some uh, three year and uh, he'll buy some bonds three years or less uh, to to help lift the market. So we'll see how that plays out. I don't know if um, if that's going to really be uh, all that effective, but I guess in the near term, the market likes what it's hearing. Um, so markets are really not drastically falling. They were actually held up yesterday on this news. So once again, Mario Draghi said that he's going to buy three-year government bonds or less. And um, hopefully that's going to do something. I guess it's kind of like a European version of the Fed's operation twist. But either way, um, again, we'll see how the market plays out from here. Now, Moody's also cut the outlook for the European Union to negative. Um, I believe they gave negative outlooks to Germany, France, and the UK. Um, I think the, the Netherlands as well. I have to check on that. But I believe I read that, that they did um, cut the Netherlands as well. So we're going to have to see how all this um, <clears throat> resonates with the market. But the one thing I think everyone should watch for is the U.S. dollar index. As long as that dollar moves higher, these markets will come under pressure and vice versa. All right, let's take a look at some gold and silver. Let's take a look at the GLD this morning. Now, gold had a pretty solid move um, basically yesterday and the day before. A, a pretty big, sizable pop for gold. But let's take a look here at the GLD. GLD is trading at 164.41. It's a very, very good move. I think there's a lot of resistance up here, but it's going to be all about the dollar. If the dollar sells off, gold will go higher. If the dollar gets a bid, watch for gold to retreat. That's really the bottom line. It doesn't matter how we slice it or dice it. Um, it all comes down to the dollar. If the dollar starts to strengthen, gold will deflate. If the dollar starts to weaken, gold is certainly going to lead the inflation. Okay, so watch gold. Um, but basically, you're watching the dollar because that's going to tell you everything you need to know when it comes back down to gold and the dollar. Now, oil today is, is making a pretty big pop. Um, light sweet crude is up $2.19 to 96.81. Let's take a look at the USO this morning. The USO is trading at 36.06. Uh, again, pretty decent little pop there on USO. Um, above the 36 level, solidly above it at the moment. Now, same deal applies with the dollar. If the dollar strengthens, uh, oil will come under some pressure. If the dollar weakens, uh, oil will go higher. 
Same thing for gasoline. Here you can follow gasoline pretty accurately. Um, here's the UGA, United States Gasoline Fund. You can see here trading above $60. Everybody knows gasoline at the pump is extremely expensive. In fact, gasoline was the highest that it's ever been for a Labor Day weekend. So Labor Day holiday has passed, and um, U.S. citizens paid the highest they've ever paid for gasoline per gallon during uh, the Labor Day. So again, watch um, gasoline to go higher if the dollar sells off, if the dollar rallies. I think gasoline will come in. It's not the speculators. It's the action in the dollar. Okay, so let's take a look here at um, some stocks in the news. I'm going to start off with this MRX. It looks like this stock was bought out by Valiant. Again, anytime you see this sideways action like this and it's real tight, that's a buyout takeover. Huge move. If you own it, congratulations. Lock in some profits to trail your stop loss. It's up to you if you want to take it off the table. Uh, but either way, great move on the stock. Uh, here's a company that bought it out, VRX. And you can see even they're trading up on the news, trading at around 56 and a quarter. So bit, pretty big pop there. I don't know if this one has a lot left in the chart here. It's going to probably need to pull back. Should hit some resistance anywhere in this 56 to 57, maybe 58 level. But this is the acquiring company, but it is trading higher uh, on the news. So that's, that's actually a positive for the stock. Most often when a company acquires somebody, um, the stock will go down. That is not happening here. So, again, we'll watch that one pretty closely. Here is Quest, Pharma, uh, Quest Core Pharmaceuticals. This had a nice pop on the news, I guess, in sympathy. It's now fading. This thing is overbought at the moment. So, anything above um, 47 and a quarter, 47.50, usually signals that this thing is overbought. Um, let me just get the big resistance level that I'm seeing here for this Quest Core. Yeah, it should be around the 47, 15, and then really around 50 bucks. So watch for big resistance there, uh, 47, 15, 50 dollars, and then really it's going to be up at 53. But again, it's already overbought, and you can see it's starting to pull back in already. Um, there's some other stocks out there in the news today, but nothing really all that major. It looks like Goldman Sachs was downgraded by J.P. Morgan, um, but it looks like Morgan Stanley was upgraded by J.P. Morgan. So I, I kind of chuckle when these um, big banks upgrade and downgrade each other. And uh, it, it's kind of something to, to, to look at. Either way, I don't see a lot of upside in either one of them, to be honest. Okay, so take it slow. It is the first day back from the holiday. A lot of times people look at this as a holiday hangover. Um, again, today will could be on the slower side, but tomorrow things should start to pick up significantly as everybody comes back from their August vacation. Okay, so uh, let's take it slow today, but um, things should, should start to heat up um, as soon as tomorrow. With that said, everybody, I want to wish you all a great trading day, and uh, we'll look at these charts again tomorrow morning. Have a great afternoon, great morning, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.